Thanks for checking out this unboxing video. This is for the June Fright Crate. And this is my second time getting a Fright Crate, so I'm very new to the Fright Crate unboxing experience. I am getting the more expensive one, which I believe before shipping is $30. There's also a less expensive version that you get one or two less items for $20. Uh, honestly, based off the first box I unboxed, I don't know why you wouldn't, if you can afford it, just go for the higher end box because what was in there was awesome so you're just gonna get more awesome um but we'll see we'll see what's in this one so uh i i do i do like the idea of reading the quote the quote on here is from ridley scott how can you look at the galaxy and not feel insignificant and that's pretty true there it is if you want to see it um i think one of the properties that's supposed to be in here is alien or aliens i don't know which one but i think i remember that being one of them also, I already signed up, I already purchased the July one, which is, oh no, that's, the July one I think will have Alien or Aliens, because that's the 70s one. I think it'll have Alien, because it's the 70s box of 70s horror, which, the lineup for it, I don't remember all of them at the moment, like, it, it looked really good. I know Hills Have Eyes, Texas Chainsaw Massacre, I believe Alien, and maybe The Shining? I don't know, I might be wrong on that, but we'll see. Anyway. A little bit of packing paper here. Um, go with the t-shirt first. I love the fact they do t-shirts. The one, uh, the last one, my first Fright Crate had the Candyman t-shirt that was really cool. Like I said, there's not enough or barely any Candyman merch out there. So let's see what we got this time. Oh, my bloody Valentine. Sweet. What does it say? There's more than one way to lose your heart. <laughs> That's cool. I like that. Looks good. Just like the Candyman one. Yeah, that looks looking nice. The hands up the with the bloody pickaxe coming at you. Yeah, that's good. Um, I So I, I may be wrong on this, but I don't think I've seen the original My Bloody Valentine. I think I know I saw the remake. I saw it in the theater, actually. So I know. So I know some people out there are seeing that right now and like, uh, yeah, I saw it in the, the remake in the theater. Uh, I don't think I've seen the original yet, but it's been on my list to get to. But I like the shirt. Very cool. I will be checking that out at some point. Let's go with... All right, so the first thing I grab after that is one of the resin pieces. I assume it's by Serial Resin Co., which is the company that partners with Fright Crate. Is done by Darren Mitchell, who is also a YouTuber, so you should check out his channel. He does a lot of cool horror stuff. Uh, he is Horror In Me. That is his channel, so check it out. Oh, man, this is cool. This is a nice piece. I like this. So it is from Jason Lives. Friday the 13th, Jason Lives. Let's see if I can get some better. I can see it a little bit better if I put my hand behind it. It says Jason Lives on the tombstone. He's got the chain around his neck and everything. He's like a zombie, basically. Got the, the spear. Yeah, I believe that's the one where he um, he's brought back to life by lightning. Uh, crazy. Yeah, it looks good. It looks good. And like I said, the the uh, the serial resin co pieces that were in the first box I got last month were really nice. So I expected the same quality, and it is the same quality. Yeah, and I like that it's in gold. It's kind of like a high end Jason Voorhees. <laughs> if you will. All right, let's do the pin next. This, oh, oh, cool, cool, cool. Okay. Yeah, this is for a um, movie that I don't feel like gets enough love in the horror community, and I personally thought it was pretty sweet. Uh, and the prequel, or I'm sorry, the sequel that they also had to it as well, uh, that's The Collector. If you were into, like, Saw, it's actually by the same guys who wrote, like, Saw 4, I don't remember how many, I think they did, like, 4, 5, and 6, maybe 7 as well. But it's by the same uh, duo that wrote those Saw movies. It's kind of Saw-esque. Uh, it's like a booby-trapped house uh, with this killer, The Collector. But I thought it had a decent story to it. It had some cool kills in it, and I liked it. And I even liked the scaled-up... Um, I mean, it's basically a scaled-up version of the exact same story in the sequel, The Collection. And I liked them both, to be honest. I actually own The Collector. I don't own The Collection, Um I don't know if I liked it enough to go out and buy it, but I like the collector enough to buy it. This is a cool pin. Yeah. like the pin. All right, next. It's like a piece of paper. Please read Nightmare 3 Standy Instructions. 
Oh. So it's instructions on how to put together a stand-up piece? Let's check this out. That's the next thing I'm pulling out. Oh, ooh, I like this. This is cool. Nightmare on Elm Street 3 Dream Warriors, which is a very beloved one of these films. This is this looks this looks nice. Okay, so it's telling me how to do it. So at first it's like this, then you fold these pieces out. Yes. Okay. And then you fold this piece down so it holds it. Come on. Oh, I have to have that all the way. Okay, there we go. There we go. I'm getting it. I'm getting it, guys. Hold on. There we go. Okay, you see, that's what I had to do. I had to kind of fold it there. And now it should stand up. I mean, I, don't have any, I guess I can just show you that it stands on my hand. There we go. Without all the glare, which is hard to do with that angle. But yeah, it stands. That's cool. Oh, that's pretty sweet. Um, I have a Phantasm Ball, a replica done by Nightmares Unlimited, a awesome Phantasm Ball from the first one. I might put this right next to it because this is a really nice display piece. I mean, here's the thing about this. You're just like, oh, it's cardboard. It's kind of cheap. I mean, yeah, but in the but it looks so damn good. Like, it's obviously the artwork from the film, and it can stand up, and it's a really nice little display. And it makes me think back to, like, the days of Blockbuster, which I I just, like, I pine, I opine for the days of Blockbuster. That was a really fun time. You know, 80s people, 90s people, you understand. But they would have a bunch of, like, stand-up, you know, cardboard stand-ups that were around for movies. So this just kind of makes me think about that. And it looks really nice, and I like it. And I'll display it. Very cool. Next. Might be the last item item. Oh. Okay, I dig it. I dig it. It's an autograph. I know they do that from time to time here. So, uh, Certificate of Authenticity from Fright Crate. It is signed by Alex Vincent, who played Andy in Child's Play. You can see right there. It's a good photo to have signed. Yup. Child's Play fa fans out there. I I like Child's Play. There's the Certificate of Authenticity. I like Child's Play. I'm not like crazy about Child's Play. I've heard that the new one's actually pretty cool. It's more of like a reimagining of the beginnings of Chucky from what I've heard. But I've heard that it's executed pretty well. But that the Chucky doll looks a little weird. But I will eventually check that out. I've actually only seen... I haven't seen all the, the Child's Play movies. I've seen the first one, definitely. I don't, I don't think I've seen the second one. I think the only other one I saw was, like, The Curse of Chucky. I know that's really weird because that's, like, many films later. I'm sure other people watching this right now are just like, once again, like, how? How would you watch the original Child's Play and then just The Curse of Chucky? Because, bleh, go ahead and berate me for that down there. Be nice, though. Like, nicely berate me, if there's such a thing. That's cool. Autograph. Awesome. And then they just have their little spoiler sheet in here. So the celebrity autograph, Alex Vincent from Child's Play, one of the best autographs we've ever had on Fright Crate. Andy from one of the most legendary horror films of the 80s, Child's Play. Very cool. Uh, exclusive heartless shirt. That was the, yeah, the shirt for My Bloody Valentine. Another amazing piece from our very own Max Cave. Harry Warden would be proud. Please follow Max on Facebook. Uh, the exclusive bronze bust for Jason Lives, roughly four inch bust inspired from the movie, brought to you by SerialResinCo.com, so you can check them out. This piece is meant to look like a bronze statue, and it does, and it looks classy, and it looks good. Uh, exclusive, the, the, these were all exclusives, except the celebrity autograph, obviously. Sorry, my cat's yelling in the background, she's being a, a butt. Um, Nightmare 3. Three mini standee, awe inspiring piece inspired by the movie poster. Definitely. One, two, Freddy's coming for you. Please see the instructions that come with the piece, easy assembly. And thank you for those instructions. Well, I think some people could have definitely figured that out. I know other people probably would have had problems with it. Um, I don't know. Given the situation, I don't know if I would have had problems with it or not. So it is very helpful to have those instructions in there. So it's just a nice touch to, to be like, here, we're looking out for you. So thank you. And then the exclusive duality pin from The Collector. 1.5 soft enamel pin inspired from the movie. Yeah, there you go. 
next month. If people don't want to know this, go ahead and, and log off right now. I'll tell you the properties from it, although I said some that I think it already is. Uh, but I'll verify right here. But first, subscribe. If you like any of the videos I do, especially this one, hit that subscribe. Also put some comments down there. Talk about, you know, this box. Do you get it? Do you want to get it? Your thoughts? I think it's pretty sweet. Uh, okay, so for next month, for July, Freight Crate will be Carrie, Texas Chainsaw Massacre, The Exorcist, Alien, and Hills Have Eyes. The original, obviously, because it's, it's a 70s box, like I said. Uh, very strong. All of those, very strong. If you actually wanted to see the little spoiler sheet, I should hold down here. There you go. You can pause on that, read it. Good stuff. Um, my second Fright Crate, and I'm still in on this. I really, really like it. Um, yeah, love the shirt. Looks really good. Love this little stand-up thing. Definitely displaying that. The pin's really cool. I love pins. The autograph's really cool. The resin piece is really cool. There's not an item in here that's not really cool, and that was the same with the first one I got, the one for May. So yeah, I'm excited for the July one, especially because I love all those movies. Anyway, thank you for checking this out, and until next time, keep it brutal.